There we go, there's a Captain America. This Captain America was all right, but um, it had no articulation. It, uh, its legs did not move. Uh, and if they don't bend at the knees, how are you supposed to uh, have a good wrestling match with them? There's Ariel. Is that Ariel? <laughs> We're heading down to Bunbury, about an hour and a half away from our house. Uh, this is the third of the south regions that we're doing. Frankie's back again. And uh, we called the last one a draw that we did together, didn't we? Yeah, it was good. First of the South region, uh, you won that easily. Um, last one was a draw, because I gave a few bits and pieces that I found for you that were in your thing, and uh, it was a good item. Though. Yeah, we got some good items. I thought we got some alright items last time, but we got to Bunbury, but the only problem is, um, we've kind of left it till late in the afternoon. It takes an hour and a half to get there, and uh, we've got two hours to try and do six or seven op shops, thrift stores, so. Six or seven op shops in two hours, we've got to try and rush it, so this is going to be a rush job. But they're the good ones, when you when you don't think about it, you just grab shit, so... How, how many comps have you done? I've done no comps, so in the last two uh, regions that we've done. I've yeah. done one. No, no That's comps. It. No comps, so I don't even care about comps anymore, I just wing it. And if it sells, it sells, it doesn't, it doesn't. Shit happens. Yep. At least the uh, op shops still get a donation yep. in the end. So. That's why you should know by now <laughs> how much something's going to go for. So, and like I said, if it doesn't go, too bad. All right, so let's go to six or seven of these, and then we'll uh, see who's got the uh, who's got the goods. Who's got the goods? Who's going to get the point? Who's going to get the point? I don't want another draw. I don't like draws. I don't like draws. Yeah, I, I still think that you gave me that dead because you felt a bit sorry for me. But in the end, uh, I didn't find some stuff for you. Fuck you. Let's go to the shop. <laughs> Look at this first op shop, graffiti all over the signs. What a great sign for this dog shit day. Uh, so let's go into Bonnie's. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you to start off with right here. Me and Frankie did not have much luck in Bunbury at all uh, from all the stores we do go to. So let's show you all the things we don't pick up, which uh, is the majority of everything. Here's a body of evidence murder game. Uh, straight back on the shelf for that one. Did find some uh, VHS Kamal. Kamal's haunting me. I already got that one in my collection. Uh, get out of here, Kamal. Stop haunting me everywhere I go. Uh, the videos were no good at this place. Uh, I was nearly going to get this Hulk book, but it was too kiddish. Uh, not my cup of tea for that one. Um, I did find this uh, WWE sealed magazine. We'll go through this in show and tell. Because uh, it's got some cool things in there uh, that maybe I can sell. Maybe I can sell. For a dollar, there might be some stuff in there we can uh, flog off. So, hey, it's better than nothing. It's better than a kick in the dick. Uh, I, we, we were struggling to find stuff here in Bunbury. And uh, it's an all right town down here. But, um, uh, no, nah, it's feral. It's, let's be honest, it's feral. Uh, I, just caught, I just caught Frankie reading Home and Away book. And he... Got embarrassed. He didn't want to take it. He got embarrassed. I don't understand why he didn't want it, Frank. Frankie, that was dog shit. Yeah, I got nothing. You got nothing. I got a fucking wrestling magazine. Must be a dollar. Oh, sealed. sealed. It's not worth anything. Right, so next up was the Salvos. This was a lot better than the first uh, uh, place we went to. Axis and Allies, they wanted 50 bucks for that. Uh, great game, but uh, come on, we're trying to find some bargains here to resell. Uh, so no good, no good. Um, so we both seen these at the same time, uh, and there was two of them. Uh, the West Perth Falcons uh, Waffle Football Team. Uh, they, they wanted a few bucks for these, and uh, you know what? I put my one back. I let Frankie get both of them because, um, look, 
I hate I, 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 there's certain teams I just can't sell some of their gear and West Perth Falcons is one of them uh, but then I did find these uh, Melbourne Demons Melbourne Demons uh, scarves almost brought them five dollars each and there was five of them but unfortunately they all had member 2019 on them and then that's when they were crap so they weren't a good team then so I didn't bother getting them Manchester United, you always find Manchester United uh, stuff and they want nine bucks for that, so no way. Uh, Manchester United fans, do you just donate all your gear all the time? Because I've always seen Manchester stuff. Uh, the toys were crap down here, absolutely. What's, what, what's the matter with this town? Did they have no childhood? There's never any toys down here. Uh, nothing, unfortunately. Couldn't even find a platypus. Uh, there's a platypus everywhere and they don't even have a platypus. But... Uh, there we go, there's a Captain America. This Captain America was all right, but um, it had no articulation. It, uh, its legs did not move. Uh, and if they don't bend at the knees, how are you supposed to uh, have a good wrestling match with them? There's Ariel. Is that Ariel? There's Ariel. It's like a fake Ariel. I'm always looking, uh, I'm always looking at these tea towels now. I don't know whose video it was that uh, uh, look, looks at tea towels, but um, I, I couldn't even, I can't even tell you. There's a couple of people, but one main channel I can't tell you but uh, that I've watched they've got me into looking at tea towels now I'm always looking at those tea towels and I haven't found anything yet but uh, look through my bed sheets and I didn't find anything there either uh, the good old records nothing like uh, going through some banjo and piano uh, stuff but there was a footloose footloose one uh, but um, it was in not good condition. It was not good enough for a little mini footloose one. Plus, I think they wanted five bucks for it. There's some VHS tapes here in <laughs> Star Trek. Uh, no one watches Deep Space Nine Star Trek. I put that one back and I'm paying a dollar for it. Michael Jackson, a bit hard to sell Michael Jackson uh, videos now. Used to go all right. Now check this out. Would you have brought this? This is like a 3D drawing pen. I couldn't find anything on comps. I could find like fake brand ones that only go for $25, but I couldn't find this one. Um, I can't even remember how much they wanted for this one. I think it was $10. I thought it was a decent and reasonable price, but in saying that, I just uh, didn't want to risk it because uh, it's just so no good. Uh, good Sammy's was next door. Uh, look at this guy. Let's replay this now. Look at his look at his face. How angry he is coming out. Oh yeah, yep. He is not happy. Not happy. We saw the replay there. Uh, not happy. Not happy. And that can only mean one thing that this is going to be a shit store as well. But I found a South Fremantle Waffle Bulldogs. Uh, it's like a windbreaker type of jacket. And uh, the one of the few things that I found in this uh, area. So I grabbed that. Frankie was not happy. I found this Dockers, Dockers shirt, but for eight dollars, it wasn't in the greatest condition. Um, I wasn't too happy with the condition of it, so I did put it back in the end. Uh, I was a bit disappointed because uh, it was actually a really nice uh, long-sleeved uh, sh collared shirt. Um, check this out, Milton Bradley. I'm loving my Milton Bradley stuff at the moment. Uh, this is a uh, Jack and the Beanstalk puzzle. I didn't grab it. Um, wasn't sure about those uh, kitty ones. Yeah, I've got to do a little bit more research. Check this out. This is a Bunbury drive through chemist. I've heard of drive through bottle shops, but a drive through chemist? drive through I've got a headache. Grab me some Panadol. Uh, get me some Panadol, and then let's go to the next one, the Australian Red Cross. So we head over to the Australian Red Cross, and this one was terrible as well. Uh, do you remember these GPSs before we... Uh, had on our phones, um, we could use Siri to uh, take us to all our destinations. Check this out. I wish I brought this now because uh, it was very limited what I got. But a bold and the beautiful coffee mug. Do you think that would have sold? I should have. I should have picked that up. It would have been one of my only items that we got. Um, check these people. The Pete, Pete and Lee. You never heard of them, but uh, how cool do they look? They look pretty cool. And so I thought, let's look through the records, uh, the vinyl, and. Um, it was all crap again, as usual, and cover them up. Cover them up. We don't want to get demonetized. Shirt and blouse open there. 
I've taken fucking better shits than that fucking store. Got a baby thing though. Yeah. That's, that's alright. So there was one more store, the Vinnie's, and this was the most overpriced crap place I've ever been to. Couple of hundred bucks they wanted for this uh, tennis, someone's ticket, they put someone's uh, ticket in there, photos they've taken themselves, <laughs> and that's it. It wasn't signed or anything. It was just someone's ticket to the tennis game and three photos that they'd taken and put in a frame and they wanted a couple of hundred bucks for them. Fuck you. No chance in hell. And then look at this. For a scarf, scarves you get $3 everywhere. This eagle scarf, they wanted $25. Go to hell. $25. Oh my God. I was in and out of this place like no tomorrow. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Frankie found a jumper for himself that he paid 20 or 25 bucks for. It looked warm, but I was out of there. No thanks. That's terrible. That was probably one of the worst fucking op shops I've ever been to. Horrible. Well, we won't be coming back to uh, Bunbury, I'll give you the hot tip, because we did five stores and fucking shit. But it happens. It happens. You can't always have good shit. You can't always have good shit. You can't always be these fucking awesome fucking, oh, look what I got every week. But we still got some good stuff. Uh, not much though. Not much though, so what do you grab? The five stores, we did really bad. We did really, really bad. Really bad. So you got this baby thing, Elmo. That's, that's for the kid. Another little, uh, what's this called? Sierra, just a little jumper. That's for you though. For me. Not for, not for I resale. I always look out for this to resale, but yep. 20 bucks is probably yep. anyway. Um, we got a couple of Falcons, scarves. West Perth. Yeah. Fuck the Falcons. $2 hat, which is alright actually. Yeah. 2003. Not bad. And then just a bunch of books. Bread and butter. David Zetting's books. A bunch of them. They were six bucks or something. You got ripped off, I think. <laughs> you don't want to talk about that, do you? You don't want to talk about that. No, he doesn't want to talk about that because he got ripped off, but um, Bunbury was fucking shit. I'm going to show you my stuff when I get home because um, I've only got a little bit as well. But like I said, you can't win them all. And we did have coppers, not coppers, we did have a security guard get uh, chasing uh, kids. We went for a piss in the uh, shopping mall and kids were getting chased on their bikes, which was pretty damn fucking funny. But thanks for joining me again, man. And uh, I'm going to go to the shed and show you everything that I got. This really was a dog shit day. And this was for both of us, it was a dog shit day. But you can't win them all, you can't win them all. So, first of all, these two Wiggles uh, CDs, music CDs, they were meant to be a dollar each, but I got them 50 cents each. Uh, you make me feel like dancing, I'm gonna dance my heart away. I'm sure they sing that. Um, and a Christmas, a wiggly wiggly Christmas. Uh, I'll get $10 for You Make Me Feel Like Dancing and I'll get $20 for Wiggly Wiggly Christmas and that will go definitely around Christmas time. So that's uh, $1 into 30 bucks so far from this terrible, terrible Bunbury trip. Hour and a half drive from our house. Oh, hour and a half drive, not happy, not happy. So I paid 50 cents each for these uh, Star Wars music soundtracks. We got uh, Attack of the Clones there, episode two, one, and three, Revenge of the Sith. So um, that's pretty cool, we got all three of them. I've sold uh, the Phantom Menace one for $20 before. Um, I found that one before, but now I've got all three. We'll lock all three of those together. Um, they were $1.50. The comps are showing that uh, people are selling this one now for only $5. Uh, I 100% sold this one for $20 before. So, um, if they're only going for $5 now, I, I did good back when it was, um, back before the dog shit day started. But uh, uh, we'll try and uh, lot these up for $30. Ten bucks each, even though this one's going for $5 and some, I think one of the other ones is too, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, maybe $25. $25 for the kitty. So $1.50 into $25. Oh man, what a dog shit day. So, uh, you know, yeah, you add it up. We're not doing too good. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, before I even get to the kitty or get to the end of this, we've called this one a draw. Gentlemen's ag agreement. Uh, the last riff we did together was a draw. This one's a draw as well. Uh, I only got him because of the Dockers jersey last time when I made it go to the draw, but uh, this time we did. it was terrible. It was just both terrible. Uh, this this is an awesome find, I, I thought. This was $8, South Fremantle Football Club. Uh, the South Fremantle Bulldogs. Been finding a lot of waffle stuff lately. Uh, this South Fremantle Bulldogs, um, it's not a jumper, but it uh, feels comfortable. Very, very thin, very thin. Um, I'll definitely be able to get 50 bucks for that, easy. South Fremantle Bulldogs are on top of the ladder at the moment as well. So um, this will sell pretty quick. So I'm gonna get this uh, Quick Smart on eBay and uh, get that sold. So as you see, the kitty ain't gonna be fucking very happy with me or Frankie this uh, round. But I also found for a dollar this um, this WWE magazine seal. Uh, it's not worth anything to resell. But what we're gonna do is there's some few bits and pieces in there. Let's see if we can find any items in this that uh, is resellable. The magazine, you just got some quizzes in here, poster, paint Jeff Hardy's, Jeff, Jeff Hardy's face. Oh, it's a WrestleMania edition. WrestleMania edition, I suppose. John Cena, you can't see me. Charlotte Flair, woo! -hoo -hoo. Not a bad magazine that's in there, but they'll probably go in the bin. So let's see what else is in here. What is that? Raw, get these hands. We got some WWE stickers. Don't know what that was. Got something in here. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame ring. Broken. My my fucking my Hall of Fame ring is broken. We got a poster of someone. Becky Lynch. Poster of Becky Lynch. Man, the poster's all fucked up. That's what I think of you. Keychain. Championship keychain. AJ Styles. AJ Styles uh, armband. We'll get 10 bucks for that. Easy. Easy. So we'll add 10 bucks to the kitty. Let's just see if we get any good cards. Shit card. Shit card. Braun Strowman versus Kane. Shit card. And we got a Seth Rollins one. Another shit card. All right. We made 10 bucks from that $1 magazine. So that's pretty good. Uh, bring up the dismal kitty. Bring it up. Not excited. Kitty's not happy. Kitty, come on. Kitty's not happy, it's a dog shit day. Our kitty, we spent $11.50. All together, we're gonna get $10 from. This is before fees and taxes and everyone, remember? Uh, we're gonna get $10 for the AJ Styles thing, we're gonna get 50 bucks from the South Fremantle Bulldogs thing, we're gonna get $25 for the Star Wars DVDs. Uh, we're gonna get about 30 bucks for the Wiggles DVDs, that comes to $115. $115 for the Bunbury trip. Uh, we only spent $11.50. Not bad. Fuck off, kitty. Not impressed with you lately. Not impressed with you. But that will pay for a couple of cartons of beer when I watch the footy this weekend. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. If you got this far, that means you are uh, liking the content. So uh, click the thumbs up for me. It helps. Alright, guys, thumbs up. Like, subscribe. All that jazz. Whatever. Do what the fuck you want. This was bad. This was a bad, bad, bad episode. Can't all be good. We're not experts. See you!